Hi, everybody. How are you? Nice to have you again. My name is Yomi Kasali. I'm the host of this vlog, Inspire Today. It's something that's very precious to me because it's meant for you. I'm here because of you. I try to think every day of how to encourage you, how to bring the scripture alive so you can know how to work as a Christian and a child of God during this pandemic, during this lockdown. Many of us are thinking, how do I survive alone for two weeks, food, water, stock, friendships. Some of us are very active socially, some of us are going to work 6 a.m. every day. And our, our daily schedule has been scuttled. As we're wondering, this is having an adverse effect on many people, marriages, on, on relationships, on unions. But I, I want to share something that is very important. Listen, a CNN survey by John Hopkins University says, that many people who would have their mental state, mental health, uh, dysfunctional during this period, that people are not used to staying within walls, especially in crowded cities like Lagos, like, like Delhi, like New York, cities where loads and loads of people are. London, for instance, where we go out day and night, we we'll catch our jewel bug, that we're so busy active. But we now knock us within a room. What it does to us in our mind is we are in prison. It's, it's a six by six prison. So many people out there now feel imprisoned within their own walls. And then guess what? While you're in prison, you have no choice but to live with people and tolerate those that you usually will just walk out of the house. So domestic violence may rise because of the mental health of many people. And, and that's true. This will take its toll, not just on our physical well-being, but our mental well-being. The mind is a very powerful place. It's a place where actions and activities take place. So we want to be sure that we're mentally fit. The state of our minds and creatures will tell you matters more to help your body. If your mind is out of place, your body will be out of place. There's a scripture I want to read to encourage you. Second Timothy chapter 1. So that we can be inspired to keep a good and healthy mental state. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse number 7 says to us clearly, God has not given us the spirit of fear and spiritual, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. I like that. That's it. A sound mind. That means we can have on sound mind. We can have on healthy mind mind. What's your state like in the mind? What's your mental health like? I, I, I want to help you to ensure as you are in a lockdown within your walls of your house, you keep your mind growing. You keep your mind in a very healthy state. Depression, despair, rejection, or, or loneliness can kill. Many people will feel lonely, will feel unloved, will feel unwanted, will feel tolerated, will feel abused, will feel whatever. Listen, social distance should not be emotional distance. You should take yourself out of your loved one's lives, even though you are distancing yourself physically from relating and touching each other. Let me tell you three or four five things you must do to ensure you keep a sound mind. Praise God. I don't want your mind in an unsound state, unhealthy state. Your mental health is as important as your physical health. Let me tell you what you do. Listen, don't laugh. Watch comedies. <laughs> you see, people don't know that laughter is healthy. Laughter helps you live longer. It's, there's a science, scientists have proven that those that laugh more live longer. Fine, don't take this world too difficult, too serious. You're taking it too serious. Spend time to laugh. Just find some humor in everything you watch on your WhatsApp. Don't take COVID-19 too serious. Look for humor. Watch all those lovely, wonderful drama skits on YouTube. They make us laugh. I love to laugh. That's how to keep your mental health in check. So you don't go bizarre. Make sure you laugh a little. Make sure you every day laugh. Find something to make you laugh. Watch something. Read something. Two, listen to music. Music is powerful to the soul. People know that David sang and demons left Saul. Make sure you listen to good music. For me, when I'm under pressure and I play one or two music, I just keep going that way. I go that way. I begin to dance alone. I begin to jog around my room. It helps to lift me up. Listen to good God music. Listen to some powerful Christian pop. Some oldies. The oldies have ways of bringing it back. My wife and 
and I love to dig it down with the holdings. We dig it down. I buy the Bible pastor. We dig it down with the holdings. Holdings are the way of making you feel good again. Number three, master your emotions. Don't let your emotions control you. You will control your emotions and your feelings. Sometimes you feel rejected by somebody. They call you, don't like it. Hey, you know what? Put it aside. Laugh. Don't let your emotions control you. Number four, read books and educate your mind. Every day, try to pick a chapter in a book, a biographical book, a historical book, something to just educate your mind. Read hard to your knowledge. Four things I've told you. One, watch comedy. Two, sing songs or read or listen to music. Three, master your emotions. Control your emotions. You must not control you. Four, read books and educate your mind. And finally, do some exercise.